Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna be trying out actually TikTok products that you guys hated and I've never done this before, but I was on TikTok and a lot of people do like makeup and products that didn't work out. And I always talk about products that are like viral because they did work out. So we're literally doing the opposite today. We're talking about stuff that people hated. Not to get negative in this video, but uh, these are the opinions of TikTokers and I'm gonna be honest, there are some I agree with. Uh, and some products I haven't tried out myself. So we're gonna figure it all out today. Be sure and smash that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and jump right in. You hang tight, hang tight. I'm gonna have some products that I just personally didn't work out for me and I wanna talk about. So I'll throw those in at the end too, so I can give some of my opinion on some products. First up, Michaela. So she was talking about a couple products that didn't work out for her and both of those products I had actually tried and I agree. So let's roll the TikTok. Huda Beauty, if you are watching this, please listen. The formula of this eyeliner is fantastic. Everything else about it is trash. Okay, the first product she mentioned she hated was the Huda Beauty Double In Liner. The thing is, Huda Beauty makes so many products that are great, and then every now and again, there's a product in there that's a little bit of a stink. <laughs> Such a weird name to call it, a stink. But this is the thing with this, it's a double in liner. So one end is a brush liner for your liquid liner, one is a pencil for your waterline. I will say, like, I agree with Michaela, like the formula of this product is really good. It's really nice. I've had this one for a long time. I will say the brush on the wand is quite thick. It's like a thicker wand, it's not like really fine and pin-like. So I think it is really difficult to get a wing out of this, like wing liner. Now, if you're just going straight across your eye, I think you'll be all good with it. But I do like the formula of the product. However, this being the genius contraption and product that it is in the packaging, I will say their liners, they go in the waterline or whatever, they dry out. They dry out. So to get it in your waterline, you kind of have to do the scraping and scratching to get it going. And then, even then, it's very thick and um, doesn't really glide on easily. It's very dry and kind of tugs and pulls. I mean, it is an intense black liner, so I'm just gonna have to agree with her right off and say, you're right, there are some things with this product that definitely the kinks need to be worked out. Because overall, it is like a smart product, but like, not terrible, not my favorite. Okay, the next one I just never liked altogether. This is the Urban Decay Lash Free. Now, Michaela mentions, actually, let's go ahead and roll that part of the TikTok. Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. I hate it. <laughs> you have to wipe off all this excess, and it just does absolutely nothing for my lash. Everything about it that she mentioned, I mentioned. So this is the weirdest wand ever. Okay, are you guys seeing this wand? It's so odd. And here's the thing, it comes with too much product on the wand. So Every time you get it out, you gotta really get in there and like clean half the product off. And so this product doesn't really do anything for your lashes. I say my bottom lashes to show you guys, but it really doesn't do anything for your lashes because it's so wet and heavy. It kind of just leaves your lashes darker with mascara on it, but no volume, no lifting, very messy. So I'm gonna apply this to my lower lash. A lot of product comes off. And if you can see, I've already, by barely touching my eye, made a huge mess over here. I've got some of it right here, and then it's already globbed right here, and that is pretty much always my experience using the Lash Freak by Urban Decay. I will say, Urban Decay has a lot of great products we all know and love. I mean, obviously, they're a huge conglomerate brand, like they're massive, and they have a lot of cool stuff. They actually just came out with some new lip products I wanna try, but this is the one for me that I just think all around to avoid. Truly gotta agree with Michaela on this one. All around, just avoid this mascara. It's not the one, you know? It's really not the one. Speaking of things we don't like, if there are things you don't like, which I'm sure all of us can relate to, don't forget to register to vote. There's gonna be a lot of elections coming up this year, and I think a really good way of taking action is actually voting. One in four eligible voters in the US are not even registered to vote. So you guys, register to vote! Vote, vote, let your voice be heard. Who we vote into office not only affects our day to day, but it also impacts future generations. The Supreme Court just released a six to three ruling that will cause major setbacks to the environmental protection agencies. Power to regulate carbon emissions, which affect climate change. This ruling literally sides with pollution over the right to to breathe in clean air. There are gonna be a lot of different elections going on this year, so you guys don't forget to register to vote. Again, one in four eligible voters, they're not registered. So you guys be sure and register. And 
and booked. Okay, so my next TikTok, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it where we talk a little bit about a setting spray that actually was, I think, pretty popular. I gotta get this off my eye, but <laughs> it's pretty popular, but we have a negative review and for good reason. So let's roll the TikTok. Okay, quick product review. I got the Morphe Mattis huge chunks of glitter. It says setting spray. They're all over my sweat. Huge chunks of glitter. Here I have the product and ironically enough, like I don't even know if this product's still available because this got really popular when her collab came out. So this is it and you have to shake the setting spray. We're gonna give it a little shake so I can show you guys. Yeah, so it looks really cool, but the problem is they said it's like just glitter hunks all over your face. So what I'm about to do is spray my face with this. I haven't actually tried this one so I don't have an opinion yet, but it does look really cool. But I'm gonna spray my face with it and we're gonna see is it like glitter hunks all over my face. So let's give it a go. <laughs> okay, first of all, it smells really good. Second of all, the mister on it is way too intense. My whole face is soaking wet. I wish I had a little bit more of like a fine mister on it. Let's go ahead and zoom in and see if we see hunks of glitter being super, super sparkly all over my face. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if you can see on camera my forehead, I am seeing like literally just gold sparkles. However, you know, it does look actually really glittery, like actual glitter coming around in this bottle. But on my face, it doesn't look too, too hunky chunky glittery. So I'm not experiencing so much of like the glitter rush. However, I will say, I feel like it kind of makes my face look a little bit wet. And I think a lot of that has to do with how much of the product comes out in one spritz. The smell is really, really yummy and I love it. But overall, this is just like a super, super, super loomy setting spray. I do think it could use a different sprayer on it, but it's not too glittery. Let me try my arm. Like this is like a mister for your body. Most definitely not. Oh wow, well, I am seeing the glitter now. Mm, I do see, I, I think you guys can see the glitter. I mean, it's so wet, like way too much comes out, but I think you guys can see a little bit more sparkles, so. That's kind of like the tea on this. I mean, I don't even know if it's available anymore, but I will say if you aren't looking for something like glittery, sparkly, and loomy, you're not gonna like this. But if you're like, wanna have fun with a spray and get some sparkle glitter, luminous, 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 I actually think you'll like this. Guys, this was the drama of the internet for like a week. Uh, so I'm gonna finally try it out. I know this was months ago and I'm not hot on the trail of this drama based around this foundation, but I'm still gonna try it out because I've never tried it out before. This is the Jones Road What the Foundation. This is like an oil-based, it doesn't even say on here, cream moisture tint. We're about to try it out. I gotta take off my makeup. My makeup will look good today too. I feel bad taking it off. I'm like, no! It's okay. It's for the video. Jones Road came out with this and it's called What the Foundation. It smells very strong. Let's apply. I mean, I am the foundation queen, so... I'm not sure what to make of this consistency. You guys, I'm really trying. It's gonna be a no for me. I really wanted to like this though. So Meredith Duxbury tried out this foundation in her fun way of doing makeup. It didn't work out for her. There was a lot of drama behind it. Everybody felt like Bobby Brown did a TikTok mocking her and some people loved it, some people hated it. However, a lot of people agreed with Meredith because that's her style of doing makeup and she did end up re-reviewing it saying like, well, that's my style of doing makeup so it didn't work for me, but it may work for you. And then then there's been a lot of education on this product ever since the big fallout. However, I actually think her and Bobby Brown are all good. I think the internet just kind of blew that one up. So this is what it looks like. Let's get a zoom in and I just want to show you. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little bit greasy all around the outside of the package. I don't know if you guys can see that shine and grease kind of oozing. And then you open the product. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna open it. It's like suctioned on there and it's really slippery cause it's greasy. I also have nails. Okay, let's see if Ty can open this. I can't get the thing off. Oh, there, there you go. There she is. <laughs> Whoa! So as you can see, like this is such an odd foundation and it caused like a lot of controversy online, but looking at it, it is scary. It's not what I'm used to using. Also, it's like totally odd. It's congealed, just like the grease right here is just congealed. So again, it's a skin tint, not really a foundation, but we're gonna try it out. I think the best thing to do, cause if you can see the oil separates, is to kind of mix it. So we're gonna mix it. 
together. And then I'm gonna apply it with a brush without the intention of getting any type of full coverage here because again, it's a moisture tint. And then I wanna just like rub it in, you know? We're gonna do it a little bit Meredith style. <laughs> it feels really heavy. It feels like I put on a greasy serum and it does have a lot, I would say much coverage, but it doesn't claim to like give you coverage. It, real, it more so claims to give you a tint onto your skin. It feels really, really, really heavy. I'm not gonna lie. It looks heavy, it feels heavy. It, it is what it looks like. Like right off the bat, it feels like I have heavy grease all over my face. It certainly does, you know. If you're looking to literally look like a glowy girl, like super, super glowy, just like almost grease, greasy, then yes. Like if you have like extreme dry skin and you just want like a tint, I think this product would be great for you. Like extreme dry skin, you're looking for a glowy bomb, you just want a little bit of tint, you're not looking for full coverage, beach day, something like that. I think that might be what this is for. I can tell you all around here in my T-zone, like if I wore this out, would be super just like too shiny. But I will say this foundation is not something for me because I don't wanna be this shiny. And this feels really greasy. It feels like I have on my nighttime moisturizer or like all my greasy products on my face before I go to bed. I would like a little more coverage, although this is a moisture tint. You know, it caused a lot of trouble online. I think it's just like a newer product that we haven't really seen and experimented before. So it kind of got not the best reviews. However, I think with some education, and I do think like, I don't know what kind of packaging you would put this in because you would definitely need it in something like this so you could physically mix it before you use it but it does it, it it's messy it's a little bit of a messier product to deal with so is it the perfect product no you know is it the worst ever it's really not it's just like takes a very specific person that i think would enjoy this chris cortez did a tiktok on overhyped products meaning products everyone loves but he actually didn't like so i'm gonna go ahead and roll that tiktok because i have two of the products here we're gonna be using let's talk about five overhyped products that are just not worth it <laughs> look i don't like primers i really don't and this one is Absolutely nothing special. You don't need to waste your money. He mentioned this. This is the Milk Hydro Primer. If you can see, not a lot of mine has been used and that's because this product isn't for me. It's way too heavy, it's way too tacky, but I do think it kind of does its job in like staying power and makeup. However, I don't really love how heavy and like extremely sticky this product is. Like it is wild how sticky this product is. Like it even smells like glue to me. So like overall, I do think it's like a cool innovative product. Like we haven't really seen anything like this, like grippy that tacks down this much. But if you are into something like this, try out the e.l.f. one. e.l.f. actually came out with a pretty much a dupe for it. This is their version of it. And it is literally a fraction of the cost. And it pretty much feels like the exact same product, especially on the skin. Mm -hmm. Super tacky super tacky. I guess I just really don't like love and I'm not obsessed with that feeling on my skin before my makeup. It's also a bit heavy. Lately, I've been just like looking for things that are a little bit lighter. So Chris, I gotta, I gotta agree with you on this one. Another one he mentioned was the L'Oreal Infallible. The L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder. I hate powder foundations with a passion. They're, they're like, Oh, I've, no. This is the powder foundation. I've mentioned it several times. It did go super, super viral and he didn't like it, but he said overall, he doesn't like powder foundation. So totally understandable. I feel like they have their time in place. So this is mine. I actually really enjoyed this because I feel like sometimes at the drugstore, powder foundations just aren't quite as luxe as some of the higher end ones. But some of my favorite ones are by Makeup Forever and like Mac Studio Fix. But this one was good to me. This one was, was a good drugstore powder foundation. So I think if you're looking for something that's like really nice mattifying, then you will like this. It is a little bit heavier. It's not gonna be like a translucent setting powder because that's not what this is. It's actually foundation powder. But I thought this one definitely doesn't break the bank and it's a good price. So I was watching Sarah's TikTok and she did a full face of makeup she hates. So check that out. I'll go ahead and roll the TikTok now. Maybelline Super Stay One. I had such high hopes for it, but this is the only color that would be a match for me and it is just so yellow it's horrible it's just that i was expecting a lot more from it she hated this concealer this is by maybelline this is the super stay 30 hour concealer and let me just say this about it i agreed with everything she said i don't know if you guys remember i tried this a while back in a video and obviously you can see i have darkness right here so it really does take like a pretty nicely 
covering concealer to cover my darkness. And I feel like this is like almost like a serum concealer and that it doesn't have that heavy of coverage, but it is pretty and lightweight. However, it didn't work for me because I need like more. It's like a thin quality to it. It's very thin. So if you're looking for something lightweight and you don't need a lot of coverage, you just need a little bit of coverage, then you might like this, but like all my darkness, right through. I just don't think this product has the coverage. It should have more coverage for a concealer, but there's always a time and place for those super, super full coverage concealers. This one's not it. It's not it for me. And I have to agree with Miss Sarah. It's not the one. Next up is another product from Maybelline. We'll go ahead and roll the TikTok. 4-in-1 Perfector by Maybelline. This is just not my cup of tea at all. Kind of reminds me of a face wash, body wash, conditioner, shampoo in one. I literally hate this already. So she didn't like the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1. And this is a very, very, very interesting product. Also where I sprayed that setting spray on my arm, every time I do this, my arm is so sticky. Very sticky, like the armpit crease here. It literally feels like it's glued together. It's not a good texture. Okay, anyways, this product is like a whipped product and it also provides like no coverage. It literally looks like a dookie. Like in my opinion, it's like that whipped weird texture to it. So this product is pretty greasy feeling, which is so interesting. But then when you rub it in, it's like a tint, but it's kind of like patchy. So like, it's a weird product. I'm just gonna say that. Same thing with John Rhodes. And it's like, I don't know that many people that would just like love a product like this. I will say, I have, I just really haven't reached for it. I thought I would like it more than I did. Like a day at the beach or just a day where you want a little tint and not full coverage. But I don't know, it's just like, like it's so not uneven, it applies not well. And I think that's like it's whipped formula. It's like not a great applying product. I have tried to apply it in a few different ways. Definitely not with a sponge. I feel like the sponge just like picks up hunks of it and kind of moves it around your face. But I feel like this product, it's such an odd formula that it's hard to get blended out. I have to agree. It's not the one, baby. It's not the one. Two products that didn't work out for me and then I have one that didn't work out for anyone but did work out for me. So I don't know what's going on. One, Givenchy, actually one of my favorite luxury beauty brands, has a ton of products I purchased myself that I love, including this really expensive blush. This went viral on TikTok. And the number one thing I'm bummed about, about the blush in general, is that it's too light for me. Oh my God, I wanted this color to work so bad. And I thought it would, but really it's just too light. It looks a little bit chalky on me. So I try to stick to using these two darker ones on the end, but I just wanna show you guys how it's like a bit chalky. I'm gonna get a brush. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but it kind of leaves more of like a cast on my face. It's a very finely milled product. So it leaves a little more of a cast on my face because of its light undertone to it. It's just not my, for my skin tone. They do have another one, which I think would look better on me, but this one, unfortunately, was just too light. So bummed, because that one went viral. And I fought for it online, and it doesn't work for me. Another one that didn't work for me recently was this matte bronzer from LA Girl. So this one was chalky and Patchy, I would say the main thing about it was patchy. Like when I was trying to blend it out, it was just like leaving hunky spaces. So as pretty as this is, cause it's gorgeous, gorgeous packaging too. It did not work out for me. And then lastly, this Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation has gotten so many bad reviews and people just don't like it and I love it. So I had to give it a shout out cause I'm like, what's going on? here. I freaking love this stuff. I, it's actually the product I had on at the beginning of this video. I set it with a powder, which gives it a little more coverage, but I will say this is like a loomy, lighter coverage product. So like if your concerns are minimizing pores and coverage, I don't think you'll like this product because of its luminous, it can enhance pores. Because of its light coverage, it's not that much coverage, but I think whenever you set it, you can get it to like a medium coverage, but definitely not a full coverage. So I just like it for a summer foundation. I think it's great. I'm in the shade seven 
and I actually do recommend. <laughs> you guys are like, what's going on? We're recommending stuff. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So we went through all the different products, all the things, all the things that didn't work out. And a lot I agreed with, few I disagreed with. People were pretty spot on. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, anyways, love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.